Welcome back everyone to the fifth lesson in this series. So today let's review some strumming. So we're going to start off with our E major. We're going to do uh, eight strums on that chord. Then we'll move over to good old friend E major. Do another eight strums for that. And then we'll repeat that a couple of times. All set up, ready to play. And on the count of four, one, two, three, four. repeat that a few times and then we're going to do the same thing with a different strum pattern this time let's change it a little bit so instead we're not going to do down up down up this time this time we're going to use one of the rhythms we learned from last lesson so let's use that blues rock kind of one the, the second one the one where you go hip, hip, So we'll do that four times for each chord, then we'll switch to and do the same thing on the E chord. So, start on the, in the A, get yourself in position, and on the count of four, one, two, three, and four, and... <laughs> practice that a few times and then come back to the lesson. So now we're going to learn the D major chord or as it's most commonly known as just the D chord. Here's how you play the D major chord in the left hand. So first of all you want your first finger that's going to go on the second fret of the G string. Second fret on G with your first then your second finger wants to go on the second fret of the high E of the first string and then your third finger wants it to go on the third fret of B using your third finger and then we're only going to be playing the the bottom four strings so we're going to be excluding the two thicker strings string six and five string five can sound alright in this Chord, but we do not want to play the sixth string because it just won't work with this chord. Alright, so with that being said, let's drum the chord. And like before, if something doesn't sound right, then uh, try and work out what it is and then resolve the problem by adjusting your fingering or your position of your hand or your thumb or whatever it is and then try it again. And as you can see, it's, your fingers are kind of clamped together in a, a sort of a triangular kind of shape. So it's the easiest way to think of this chord is that your fingers are shaped in a triangle kind of way. Or I guess you can kind of say it's a claw shape. Whichever way you want to think of it. I tend to think of it as a triangle just because of the the visual reference to it from, from the fingers. So that's your D major chord. So now we're going to utilise the D major chord and the A major chord. We're going to be going from one chord to the other, D and A, just like we did with A and E, but this time it's going to be D and A. And we're going to start off with doing 
downstrokes for this progression, for this exercise. And we'll do eight strums per chord, just like before. And then we'll switch to A, do eight strums, and then back to D. So, starting on the D, get the D chord ready. One, two, three, four. repeat that a couple of times and see how you get on with the D and the A. It's a, it's a fairly easy change so you should be able to get this one fairly quickly. If not then just practice going back and forth between A and D and, and then once you've got the change then do the exercise again and, and then once you're happy with that then you can move on. Okay so now we're going to do the same again we're going to, but we're going to use a different strum. This, we're going to use the blues rock strum pattern. There, you know, the pip, pip, strum, pip, pip, strum. But except this time we're going to be using D and A, just like we did with the last exercise. Just going to be making this the strum pattern a bit more interesting, adding more to the rhythm. So starting on D, we're going to be doing two bars of each chord. So that's two of one, two, three, four. Then change to A, then do two bars, then back to D, and then repeat that a couple of times. So, one, two, three, and four, and. So now you can play three different chords on the guitar. You can play A major, E major, and D major. So that's three chords that you can use to learn songs with. And take a look at the list in the description. There's plenty of songs you can choose from the list, and more that I haven't mentioned, but you should be able to find if just if you just do a quick search online. But the few examples I've included, uh, for instance, you could start doing, uh, just with the A and the D chord, you can do uh, the Rolling Stones, uh, uh, Just My Imagination. Just by doing four strums on each chord, so four on A, four on D. Just get that going. It's just my imagination. example uh, another example would be uh, feeling all right by traffic
another example for you. Uh, another example using three chords would be uh, Gloria by Van Morrison, which, which uses E, then D, and E. We'll just repeat that. for you to uh, get an idea of the kind of music that you can play and the kind of songs you can play just using these three chords. So take a look at the list and see which ones you like and select a few to practice. So again, take a look at the list, find a couple of songs that you like using two chords or three chords and learn them and practice them and uh, play to your heart's content and experiment with the different strum patterns and exercises and chord changes and chord progressions that we discussed so far and next lesson next week we'll be looking at uh, we're going further into the, the strum patterns we'll be looking at a few different ones and we'll be continuing with the D and the A chords so I look forward to seeing you then and, I'll, and have fun with the guitar and I'll see you next week <laughs>